It's more than a roast. It's everything and everyone you need, all at one table. Now, the taste of Cape Town happens this weekend. It starts on Thursday, ends on a Sunday. And we've got one of the chefs that are going to be at Taste of Cape Town, Henrico Grobler from Azure Restaurant at the uh, 12 Apostles Hotel and Spa. Welcome to Expresso. Thank you very much, Lizzo. Now, what are you making for us this morning? Today, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to show you how to cure a salmon very quick and easy, mm -hmm. and just how to plate it. This dish will be featured as one of the dishes at Taste this weekend. So I'm very happy to show it to you. And we are giving a Way, the chance for you to win two tickets to go to Taste this weekend. You're also going to get a voucher to go to a zoo restaurant uh, at a Taste of Cape Town. The details are on your screen. How you can win is you need to uh, uh, SMS PNP your name and city to 33728. Let's get started. Lisa, it's very simple. What we're going to do is this is a chemical way of cooking. We're not introducing heat at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some salt, some coarse salt. You don't want the heavy coarse one, the kosher because otherwise it will just bruise this beautiful flesh. Then we move on to a little bit of sugar, just like yes. another spoonful. This also helps with the sweetening of the dish. This what, is very interesting, what chemical actually, way of cooking. Yes, what it will actually do is just extract all the juices and mm -hmm. Once we're finished, after two days of curing in the fridge, you rinse off the curing mixture and it will last around about um, two weeks in your fridge, up to three weeks. Okay. So, so you can have a bit piece by piece. Okay, all I'm gonna do is just grate some um, beautiful root um, over it. Nice it's earthy nice color. Nice beetroot, lovely color. It's gonna stay in Rich in nutrients. Yes. In the Middle Ages, it was used for curing a variety of yes, illnesses. Yes, yes. This is actually very, very interesting because back in the day they, they actually buried the, the salmon or whatever they were curing. Mm -hmm. A little bit of um, lemon rind here, just helping with that acidity and it's also a nice crisp flavour. It's very interesting and something completely different. Yes, yes, completely. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to use a little bit for extra. Now, for people who have never been to Taste before, what, what would you say to them? I have no idea. I've never been there myself. Oh, well, I'll tell you because <laughs> it is incredible. It's one, I've been to Taste in, in Cape Town. I've been to Taste in Joburg. Absolutely amazing. What you do is you buy your tickets, all the details on Pig & Pay's website. You get a book of crowds, which you can spend at a variety of restaurants. There's up to 15 restaurants there. There's a slow foods market. There's a kiddies entertainment area. There's a variety of uh, locally made foods on offer. You get to interact with all the chefs. You get to try out things at a variety of restaurants. Because I mean, it's 15 restaurants. You're not going to visit 15 restaurants in a year. So you're going to be able to do that in one afternoon or one evening at Taste of Cape Town. It takes place uh, at uh, right next to the Greenpoint Stadium and all the details on our website as well, expressoshow.com. Now, two lucky viewers can win themselves tickets plus a pack of crowns. Crowns is the, uh, the value, uh, monetary value that you use at Taste today on the show. This makes PNP your name and city to 33728. What have I missed while I was busy talking? Nothing, nothing. I just finished <laughs> it out and make it look pretty for you. What, what uh, needs to happen now is you just cover it with some clean film mm -hmm. and you just put a weight on it. If it's in a container, try to use a um, 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 the same container to put on top, mm -hmm. wait it down for two days. All you have to do is, um, after two days, rinse it, remove the skin, and then you'll get to a beautiful end product like this. Look at this. Look how red and, and look how orange it is on the inside. Yeah, not, now, what the red is from the beetroot, obviously. The, the red is from the beetroot, you're definitely going to pick it up in mm -hmm. the flavor. But all I can say is you don't want too much red, otherwise, mm -hmm. um, it just looks artificial. Yeah. Let, let food be natural, I think that is my sole belief. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to plate for you this dish mm -hmm. and just explain through how I've, I've prepared it and I believe the recipe is on the website. Yes, that's absolutely correct. You can also get an SMS our keyword today to 33728 and the ingredients list will be sent to your mobile phone. Okay, so this is an avocado puree. Very simple to make. Mm -hmm. All you do is you peel the avocado, you remove the pip, just throw it in a, a, a mixer or use a stab um, blender. A little bit of um, coriander, mm -hmm. salt, lemon juice, and a green chili. And it doesn't need more. That doesn't. That sounds delicious. And avocado pears have more potassium than bananas. I didn't know that. Yes. Also rich in uh, vitamin A and B. It's really a beautiful product. And mm. they're in season now, so so obviously. Use them if you see them mm. at Pick and Pay. I've seen some really nice fresh ones and on hitting the shelves at Pick and Pay recently. Yeah. So what I'm basically going to do is you've got this beautiful cured salmon mm -hmm. that we've prepared. 
just plate it up roughly or whatever. I usually say let the plate speak to you. <laughs> um, a little bit of a salad, mm -hmm. um, some pickle to work well, mm -hmm. cucumber, onion. This is a great uh, end of summer dish. I mean, we're going yes. into winter now. Yes, exactly. And the um, thing is, the, the the salmon at this stage of the year is very, 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 very great. The mm. quality, I, I can't complain. We've been blessed this season very well. And we're also love, lucky living in South Africa. Got the fresh fish available from Pick and Pay. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Pick and Pay on Nickel has an amazing fish counter. You've never seen anything like it. They've got every type of fish you can imagine at their fish counter. What I basically have here, is, uh, which I pair with this dish, is uh, bell peppers. Mm -hmm. Basically, you roast the bell pepper, you skin it, you put it in a blender with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of agar. If you don't have agar, it's a seaweed, um, also very good for vegetarians. Then just transfer it to a stove top and put in one spoon of cornstarch diluted with a little bit of, of water. And it's just like a sweetness that goes together with the kia. Really gorgeous. Very nice. I like the coloring. And then what I've done here is because we're serving um, coriander with it, mm -hmm. I basically made a coriander oil. Basically take the same routine as a pesto mm -hmm. where you put your almonds in and your, your parmesan, shaved parmesan. I just removed that, blend it, and the key, the key to this beautiful color is take the, the um, coriander to mm -hmm. 37 degrees, which is blood temperature, and it shocks the chlorophyll inside the plant just enough, and this will last, this, or this color will last you almost <laughs> We're I learning all the tricks days. of the trade here today. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this for the dressing. Yes. Maybe drizzle up, make the plate look extra bit pretty. Feel like you get value for your money. Mm -hmm. And if you're making this at home, you're making it look good. But of course, you can try this dish at Taste of Cape Town. Yes. I know Leanne standing by to get ready for uh, couch potatoes, so we need to I'm almost wrap done. up this gorgeous looking dish. And then all I'm going to do is give you a little bit of salmon roe. A little bit of beetroot sprouts just to continue with the beetroot theme. Mm -hmm. You're really healthy veggie and there. And just, just a lot of, to pick up the color. And that's basically it. There we go. Thank you so much, Enrico. Enrico, this goes onto the blue plate between 100 Rand and 200 Rand for a family L4. And of course, it's not going to cost you that if you go through to Taste of Cape Town. You can try this dish there. Or you can win today on Espresso. All the details on our Facebook page or on our website, espressoshow.com. Thanks so much for cooking with pleasure. us today. Leanne's up next with Couch Potato. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.